Hi guys, Sport Tutor here and my name is Anil Deshpande. In the previous video, you have seen how you use a content resolver to send a data request to the content provider of the contacts app and then the contacts app will return you back the cursor using which you can basically load the data in your app. If we try to break down the number of steps that we are doing in this scenario, it basically comes down to three steps. One is requesting for the data and then you load the data from the content provider and finally you use the loaded data and initialize the ui requesting for the data and initializing the ui with the data typically happens on the ui thread the second step which is the loading the data from the content provider if not explicitly taken care of will always happen on the ui thread or the main thread this is not a good idea because if the data is very huge it will lead to a application not responding Error. One way of solving this particular problem is you can use either a thread or a async task. Android recognizes this so it provides a, another built-in API called as a loader or a cursor loader which can be used to load the data from the content provider in a separate worker thread. Now to understand how a typical loader would work is each activity would be having a loader or it can have a single or a multiple set of loaders. The whole process of using a loader in an activity will typically start from an activity requesting for the loader manager. Loader manager has a interface called as loader callbacks and your activity has to implement this particular interface. So when you implement this particular interface you will override the methods that are there as part of this interface on create loader on load finished and on loader reset to utilize the loader your activity will implement the loader callback interface and then what happens is your activity will initialize loader once a loader is initialized it will trigger the callback methods of the loader callbacks the first method to that get triggered is the on create loader where you typically pass the content provider URI telling which particular content provider you want to access the data from and after that internally a worker thread will be triggered which will hit the content provider get the data from the content provider and after loading the data all this is happening on a worker thread it will trigger the next callback method of the loader callbacks that is on load finish and in the on load finish you can once again initialize the UI of your application. If you go back to the Android documentation and see what a loader class and the subclasses are, you will realize that it has got a subclass called as async task loader and then a cursor loader. Cursor loader is actually a subclass of async task loader. So what we would be using is directly a cursor loader, which indirectly will be using a async task loader so that the all the data is loaded on a worker thread and not on the main thread. So enough of the theory. So let us get into a demo. I have slightly modified the UI wherein when I click on this particular button the loading of the data should happen. The first thing that we need to do is we have to implement the loader callback methods. So for that you have to have a loader callbacks loader manager loader callbacks and the generic data type is cursor and after that you have to override the methods. Uh, for that the methods that I need to override are on load finish and on load reset and then on create loader now what we have got to do is we have to initialize the loader in this particular activity so what we typically do is we use a method called as get loader manager which will return me the loader manager and then i will invoke init loader it basically takes three parameters the first one is an integer data type and the second one is the bundle and the third one is the class which is implementing the loader callback interface what is the first parameter the first parameter parameter is nothing but an integer id using which you can uniquely identify loader as i had told you earlier an activity can contain one or multiple loaders if you have multiple loaders you can use an integer variable to uniquely identify a loader so let me use a value like one and then i don't want to pass any bundle so i can pass null and then the third parameter is this when i do this it basically triggers on create loader method 
method. In this particular method, what I should do is I should check if the value of the ID is 1, that is if it is 1, then I should initialize the cursor loader. So what I can do is return new cursor loader and you can see that it basically takes the context which in this case is this and then the content URI and you can just pass whatever the URI that you had used in the previous video. So I will just pass on that and then I will reuse the previous projection that I had used in the previous video. So we have implemented the on create loader. What this basically will do is it will check the ID and it will initialize the cursor loader. And after this is done, it will basically initialize a worker thread which will load the data. And once it completes the loading of the data from the content provider, the on load finish will get executed. We basically have to set the UI with whatever data that we have just loaded. So I can just reuse the code from the previous video. Let me run this particular code. Now when I click on this particular button, it will load the data. If I click another time, it is just going away. What is basically happening is once the loader has been used, the cursor is at the end position because of the who next. We have to just write a little bit tricky logic wherein if it has already been loaded once, we will have to reload next time once again from the beginning. I will use a boolean variable first time load equals to false. Check initially that if first time load equals to false then I will do the usual init loader and after that I will make first time load equals to true and then else what I will do is instead of using init loader there is another method called as restart loader I will use that particular method it will once again restart loading the data from the content provider from the beginning so let me run this code now so now if you will observe that every time I click the data is always loaded and Another advantage of using the loader is if any changes happen in the content provider in the other application, it will be automatically reflected back in the current application. Just to show you that, let me open a contacts application and add another contact here. Now when I open the application, it will automatically show me the new contact that I added in my application. So this is the advantage of using the loader. It will automatically take care of keeping data afresh whenever any changes happen to the backend of the third party content provider. So it is always advisable to use a loader to load the data from the content provider because it just makes it a little bit more efficient. In the next video, we will see a few more important nuances about how to use a content provider. That brings us to the end of this particular video. Don't forget to like, comment, share the video and subscribe to the channel. Take care. Bye.